You've probably never heard of it. It's a Gumpert Apollo, the very latest supercar to vie for poster space on bedroom walls. It may not have the catchiest of names, but Roland Gumpert was the man in charge of Audi's rallying programme when the Quattro was so dominant. So he's taken all that four-wheel drive expertise and done nothing with it. Instead, he's just built a dream car that goes like you-know-what off a shuffle. <laughs> The prices start at £215,000, with this sport model costing 60 grand more. So, what do you get for your money? Well, not much, seeing as it only weighs the same as a Mini, with race car-like steel tubing wrapped around a carbon passenger compartment, which sits in front of a very special 4.2-litre Audi V8. But simple, everyday practicalities are inevitably compromised. Like getting in. Fire up the engine and the cabin isn't so much dominated by a roaring V8, but more a whirring fuel pump, which very much takes me back to my old racing days. To get going, the clutch is heavy, the gear lever is heavy, and it's quite tricky to move forward. But in fact, it's rather intimidating, especially as you begin to open the throttle and wait for that boost to come in. driving position, very unlike the modern day road car with the sort of sterling boss arms. Here I've got the steering wheel right almost in my face. Very racy. There is quite a lot of turbo lag with this big V8. Although it's got 700 horsepower, when you first open the throttle, it doesn't come in that quickly, so you don't have that neck snapping feel of a normally aspirated car or an instant response turbo where one touch of the throttle snaps your head back. This gearbox is another nod towards a racing pedigree. It's quite hefty to use. It needs a good, firm tug back to change up the gears. And, of course, you've got to depress the clutch. And when you change it down, you've got to do your own helium towing. No auto blip here. The handling balance really is predominantly understeer. The steering is very light. And it's actually quite difficult to feel the grip, but oh, the front will just wash out if you try to get into the pad too soon. But what that means is that you can't get the boost up until you're almost straight, because you have half front, and it just pushes what more understeer. It's only when you unleash the full 700 horsepower that the rear begins to step out. It's just you can't get to the power mid-corner because of the turbo lag. Incredibly, the £325,000 race model has an even more powerful engine, but I'm not sure the car is ready for that just yet. 